Uh, let's oh. talk a little bit about that new trade data that came out of China over the weekend. For that, we're going to go to Eunice Yoon. She's in Beijing, and she has the latest on the trade war. Eunice, it's good to see you. Thanks so much, Becky. Well, the data showed that the tariff dispute with the United States continues to take its toll. The exports unexpectedly fell for August. A lot of economists had expected a rise, uh, thinking that manufacturers were going to front load or rush orders ahead of President Trump's September tariff deadline. Instead, the exports dropped by 1 percent. Now, imports shrank less than expected, but it was still down uh, for the fourth month in a row. So this weaker data is really really fueling expectations that the government here is going to uh, continue to roll out more stimulus measures. Uh, last week, we saw the state council announce that it was going to move forward a 2020 date for local governments to issue more bonds to boost infrastructure spending. Also on Friday, the central bank cut the announced that it's going to cut the triple R. So that's the amount of money that banks have to have in reserve by 50 basis points for all banks and then another 100 basis points for some of the smaller City banks. And now traders are expecting and talking a lot about how they think the central bank is going to cut interest rates more broadly sometime in the fall. Not so clear as to the timing, because they also are seeing and eyeing a political event that's coming up on October 1st, the 70th anniversary of the founding of the People's Republic of China. And um, the expectation is that the authorities are going to want to make sure that growth is very steady and that it doesn't appear that policymakers are moving too aggressively on stimulus. Uh, just to make sure that President Xi Jinping looks very confident as he uh, goes up on the stage and has a speech on that day. Guys? Eunice, thank you very much.